تحتوي عليك شاهين انتهى امرك Shaheen is one of the brand new characters introduced in Tekken 7. An extremely simple yet powerful character, Shaheen is a strong poking and counter hit game with emphasis on 50 50 mix ups thanks to his dangerous mids and notorious slide. If the opponent guesses wrong, Shaheen gets huge rewards off of it with his high combo damage and scary Okizemi. Shaheen is also blessed with a collection of some of the best generic tools in the game, having an incredible down forward 1, down forward 2, Magic 4, and Hop Kick. His generally low execution and small move list also make him one of the simplest characters to pick up, but this also means he relies very heavily on the player's fundamentals. Having high combo damage, amazing wall carry, strong mix-up potential, and some of the best generics in the game, Shaheen is among one of the most complete characters and can fit almost any playstyle. If you have excellent fundamentals to boot, Shaheen will no doubt be a devastating force to be reckoned with. Shaheen has an above average 10 frame punish with his 2 3. Although this is plus 3 on hit, transitioning to sneak by holding down forward puts you at a massive plus 10 on hit, though nothing is guaranteed. From there, you can go into fully crouch for a mix up or use the sneak stance options to beat your opponent's attempts to interrupt the said mix up. Overall, this is just one of the best 10 frame punishes in the game due to its high damage and strong mix up potential afterwards. Shaheen is one of the few characters who actually has an 11 frame punish, though it does the same damage as his 10 frame. However, 4 1 is less rewarding at plus 4 on hit, so it should only be used in situations where the extra range is necessary. At 12 frames, Shaheen has a knockdown punish with amazing range in his 4 2 3. This can reliably punish mid getup kicks, and due to its speed and wall splat property, it also excels when used as a block and whiff punisher at the wall. If the opponent doesn't do a back roll afterwards, you can also get a guaranteed dash up back 4 follow up. On block, the string jails, but it is unsafe at minus 12, though this shouldn't be too much of an issue if it's used for punishment purposes only. Shaheen's down back to 1 is not only his 14 frame block punisher, but also has everything you need in an all purpose whiff punisher, being a mid with excellent speed and range. As the second hit is a non jailing high, it can be ducked and launched on block so try to only use this move when you're sure it will hit. While the full string is technically unsafe, the pushback nullifies this except at the wall, where you can be punished at minus 11. Just like forward 2-3, it wall splats and gives a free dash out back 4 if the opponent doesn't back roll. If you have rage, you can instead convert into the rage drive from down back 2 for a full combo, giving you access to a 14 frame launcher. We will discuss his rage drive later in the key move section. Forward back 2 is a much more rewarding 14 frame punisher. This is a high that automatically transitions into a side switching throw on hit for a massive 55 damage. While this seems like a much more attractive option, we recommend mostly sticking to the more consistent down back 2 1 for 14 frame punishment, due to it having much longer range and being a mid. But feel free to use forward back 2 if you're confident that it will connect. Shaheen's primary launch punisher comes in the form of his infamous hop kick. Though it lacks the evasiveness of Claudio's hopkick, it is still one of the best in the game. It boasts massive range, making it very consistent for both block and whiff punishing. Since Shaheen doesn't have a 15 frame launcher from while standing, this means that the hopkick is also his 15 frame crouch punisher to punish lows. Besides for punishment, this is also one of Shaheen's primary mid options from his full crouch mix up. And it also tracks towards sidestep left, which is his weak side. Being a low crushing launcher, it can make for a great panic move as well, though of course, like most other hop kicks, it is minus 13 on block, so there is naturally a level of risk for doing that. Unfortunately, the whiff recovery was nerfed in season 2, so it can no longer be used as a keep out move, thus this role is now served by his down forward 2. We will go into further detail about this hop kick's use in his full crouch mix up when we talk about his slide later in the key move section. Shaheen is a pretty generic 11 frame while standing 4 at minus 6 on block and plus 5 on hit. Its animation is also the same as Shaheen's down forward 4, but this move has much better frames. 
Overall, this is a pretty unexceptional while standing 4, aside from its above average range thanks to Shaheen's long legs. Shaheen has an exceptional 13 frame punish from Crouch in his while standing 3-3. This does incredible damage, has great range, knocks down, and even wall splats, making this incredibly rewarding for a 13 frame Crouch Punisher. Since it's a mid that tracks to his weak side, it can also be used as a mix-up option from Crouch when you need the extra range or have your opponents back to the wall. Though at minus 13 on block, it's no safer than using his hopkick. Shaheen's while standing launcher comes in the form of his while standing 2. This does more damage than his hopkick while still boasting equally massive range. Unfortunately being 16 frames fast means you'll only be punishing big lows such as those that recover staggered when blocked since Hopkick is your fastest launcher from Crouch. While standing 2 can also be used as a high risk option from his full Crouch mix up, but you'll be taking quite the gamble as it's launch punishable on block at minus 17. Shaheen is blessed with one of the best generic downfall ones in the game. In terms of its frame data, it's pretty normal at minus 1 on block and plus 5 on hit. However, what makes this stand out is its range, tracking, and incredibly generous hitbox. Since it is only minus 1 on block, you are still left with many follow up options afterwards. This can be stepped to the left, which is Shaheen's weak side, though it has to be timed quite well and is especially difficult at tip range. Even then, it is quite hard for the opponent to get a big punish due to how fast it recovers. This is easily Shaheen's best tool at close range and is just one of his best moves in general. Down 2 is a mid that has great range and tracks towards Shaheen's weak side. It is fairly evasive, being able to go under many highs, though do note that it is not a true high crush. While it is a little slow, its range and tracking makes it a pretty decent neutral tool, though not one to be used too often. On hit, it's incredibly rewarding at plus 8, which allows for a standing mix-up between down 4, which cannot be backdashed, and back 3, which cannot be backdashed, stepped, or interrupted due to the frame advantage. Both these options on hit allow you to continue enforcing your pressure, this is a great move to use against opponents that like to use safe, fast recovering highs as keep out moves to stop you getting in. The linchpin of Shaheen's offensive game plan is his slide, a knockdown low with incredible range that gives a guaranteed follow up sneak 4 for a huge chunk of damage. However, it is only accessible from his crouch dash, which can only be input when he's already in the fully crouched state. Since Shaheen is automatically put into sneak after the slide, you can also simply cancel out of it to go for another full crouch mix up instead of taking the guaranteed sneak for follow up. There are two key mechanics at play which makes this mix up so strong. Firstly, the window for entering the slide is incredibly large, which allows for a great variety of use. For example, you can input rapidly to catch your opponent off guard, or purposely let the crouch dash startup animation play to make your opponent panic and freeze up. Secondly, the crouch dash animation can be cancelled into full crouch or while standing moves at any point during the animation, which gives you access to a great variety of mids including his hopkick, while standing 2, while standing 1, etc. This means that the mix up is completely ambiguous for the opponent. Also helpful is that like most advanced movement options, Shaheen's crouch dash realigns with the opponent, making the timing to sidestep ambiguous as well. Your opponent's options are limited to mids, since you will go under highs, and the crouch dash input motion will automatically buffer a low parry. Holding the second down forward input allows you to get the most travel distance and longest possible delay on the slide, but it will make you more vulnerable to being sidewalked. Do note though, that if the slide is blocked, the opponent can pick you up for a float combo. These are some of Shaheen's options from crouch dash. Slide, which beats sidestep and sidewalk right. Hopkick a mid which beats sidestep left, while standing 1, a counter tool to punish attempts at floating the previous options, beat sidestep right and is safe, while standing 4, a low risk mid that can beat attempts to interrupt with fast mids, while standing 2, a high risk, high reward launcher that requires a well timed sidestep left to avoid, while standing 3-3, Shaheen's longest range mid available which wall splats and tracks towards sidestep left, up forward 3, 
Shaheen's Orbital, a safe low crushing mid launcher, but is also seeable by sharp players at 25 frames. Generally, full crouch mix ups are not challenged with lows, which somewhat limits this move's usefulness. Block and Sidestep Some opponents can get very frustrated with this mix up and may attempt to avoid it entirely by challenging you with high risk moves. If you sense your opponent is getting frustrated, remember that you can always threaten with the initial crouch dash motion and then block or sidestep into the background to see what they will do. Even if you aren't rewarded with a punishment opportunity, the information you gain about your opponent can be valuable in the decision making the next time round. Remember to pay attention and learn your opponent's tendencies. It is important to familiarize yourself with the various methods of entering sneak and full crouch in order to make the best use of Shaheen's slide. But remember that you aren't limited to these options. At any range in which the slide is a threat, you can use the crouch dash motion to threaten your opponent and prevent them from getting comfortable. Shaheen's Magic 4 is fast at 11 frames and also possesses great range, making it one of his key defensive options. However, unlike other characters, the 4 by itself does not combo on counter hit and requires committing to the extensions to get the full combo. These are the available extensions. 4-1 is a double high string and is the most commonly thrown out option. This is also the only one out of the three that is a natural combo on normal hit. If the first hit lands as a counter hit, this then grants a full combo. Due to this being a non-jailing high string, the second hit can be ducked and punished on reaction, though this is much easier said than done due to the move's speed and fast recovery. 4-3 is another double high string that also grants a full combo on counter hit. As it isn't a natural combo, you can be ducked and launched even on hit, making this a risky and unattractive option. However, due to the second hit coming out much slower than 4-1, this can occasionally catch people who flash duck and prematurely try to punish, granting Shaheen a counter hit launch regardless. 4-4 is the only option in which the second hit is a mid, thus this can be used to dissuade opponents from ducking 4-1 or 4-3. On hit, this knocks down, granting Shaheen a guaranteed back 4 follow-up. If the first hit lands as a counter hit however, you lose the guaranteed back 4. Naturally, being a mid mix-up, it is unsafe at minus 13 on block, so make sure to use this carefully depending on how conditioned your opponent is on ducking the 4 string. Back 3 is one of Shaheen's pressure mids and a good all-round poke. This is a pseudo Mishima forward 4, though definitely not as good. On block, it is neutral, but it leaves the opponent in crouch, limiting their options and movement. On normal hit, its properties remain the same, only now with 3 frames of advantage. On counter hit, this knocks down, granting a free follow-up back 4. The move is fairly linear, so it can be quite risky to use it in the neutral. However, it works especially well after a wall combo since it will beat get up kick attempts and also tech rolling. Shaheen has one of the better generic down forward twos in the game. Just like other generic down forward twos, this launches a standing opponent but not a crouching opponent. This is one of Shaheen's best keep out tools due to its speed and fast recovery on whiff, making this a low risk yet highly rewarding move. This can thus be used to dissuade opponents from trying to rush in, keeping the opponent at the ideal range for Shaheen to punish whiffs with moves like his hop kick or down back 2-1. While it is safe on block, you basically lose your turn at minus 7, though it will beat sidestep left, which is Shaheen's weak side, so you can use this to dissuade steppers while still remaining relatively safe. Being Shaheen's fastest safe launcher also makes it great as a close range with Punisher after a sidestep, when you are not 100% sure that the hopkick will connect. Shaheen's down forward 4 is fairly generic. This is a 14 frame mid with decent range and leaves a nice distance on block to maintain space control or set up for a whiff punish. Unsurprisingly, this isn't super awarding on hit at only plus 2, and is also very linear, so it's best used to space out opponents that aren't stepping or as a quick long range round ender. While standing 1 is one of Shaheen's low risk options from Crouch, it's reasonably fast at 14 frames, is quite good on block at only minus 2, and on counter hit even gives plus 12, granting guaranteed and easily hit confirmable follow ups in 2 3 or forward 2 3. This also has surprisingly decent range, meaning that this is a fantastic low risk option from his full crouch mix up to catch interrupt attempts, however, it can also be stepped to the left fairly easily. Since you can wall splat with forward 2-3 after a counter hit, this move does wonders to force your opponent to freeze up at the wall and not press buttons while you are in full crouch, giving you the much needed space to enforce your mix up. 
Back 4 is Shaheen's primary ground hitting tool. This is a bit like a knockoff Demon Steel pedal, though unfortunately it's launch punishable on block, so can't be used out in the open. As it is a ground hitting counter hit launcher, its primary purpose is as an Okizeme tool, but it isn't really useful for much else. Shaheen's Forward 3 Plus 4 is a double mid string that doesn't really have many uses out in the open, but is instead used mostly as a combo ender. If you do land it out in the open, it gives 5 frames of advantage and forces crouch. If you go into sneak, you get plus 13, giving a guaranteed sneak cancel down 4 or while standing 4. However, its primary use case is typically as a combo ender, since it gives incredible Okizemi. These are some good options after Forward 3 Plus 4 in a combo. If the opponent does anything other than staying on the ground, a sneak cancel while standing 3 will catch them. If they prefer staying on the ground, crouch cancelling into a back 4 will hit them while they are grounded. If your opponent likes to use getup kicks, you can use a sneak cancel while standing 1 to get a counter hit for a nice chunk of damage. If your opponent is more hesitant, you can sneak cancel into crouch to enforce your full crouch mix-up. Thus, while forward 3 plus 4 isn't exactly a good neutral tool, this is a fantastic combo ender that complements Shaheen's 50-50 mix-ups and pressure. Back 1 is Shaheen's only useful plus on block mid. While it is slow and fairly linear, it gives plus 1 on block and forces crouch. If you hold down afterwards, you can recover in crouch yourself, allowing you to go for a full crouch mix-up or use while standing 4 or while standing 1 to catch attempts to interrupt it. Shaheen's only semi-useful string comes from his 1 jab, which on its own has decent range and is otherwise generic, at plus 1 on block and plus 8 on hit. 1-2 is a natural combo with slightly worse frames at minus 1 on block and plus 5 on hit. There are 3 extensions available from this, however they can be tricky to use. The main strengths of this string are that all options are delayable and track to both sides, so they can prove useful against trigger happy opponents or those that like to step after 1-2. One, 1-2-2 two. One, two, two is a delayable counter hit fishing string in which the third hit is a mid. The whole string is natural if the first or second hit lands as a counter hit, and if the third lands as a counter hit on its own, it then grants a full combo. Due to how delayable the string is, this is a great way to test your opponent's patience. While this isn't safe, at minus 11 it's not too risky to use once in a while considering the possible reward. 1-2-3 is the only safe option from Shaheen's 1-2 string. The third hit is a high, and you can transition into sneak by holding down forward afterwards. You almost always want to do this as it goes from minus 8 on block and plus 3 on hit, to minus 1 on block and plus 10 on hit. The entire string is guaranteed on a back turn opponent, and a sneak cancel into while standing 3-3 is guaranteed on most characters, making this your go-to punish for certain moves that recover back turn. 1-2-4 is the only option from Shaheen's 1-2 string that knocks down and wall splats on normal hit, but it's also the only one that isn't a natural combo on counter hit. Its use case is pretty similar to 1-2-2, though it is far more rewarding at the wall than out in the open. While it is unsafe on block at minus 13, the pushback does make it impossible for certain characters to punish, making it quite useful in a few matchups. Be careful when delaying this option, as this does make it steppable to the right. Shaheen's running 2 is one of his wall bounce moves. On block, this grants 6 frames of advantage, and is Shaheen's only other plus on block mid aside from his back 1. Unfortunately, this move is quite slow and ridiculously linear, making it fairly weak for a pressure tool. This is best used at the wall due to its wall bounce property and reduced pushback, though even then, this move isn't exactly a great tool to throw out most of the time. Shaheen's only power crush comes in the form of his forward forward 4. This is a reasonably fast high that knocks down and also wall bounces. This move is best used at the sweet spot where you are close enough to the wall to get a wall bounce, but also far enough away that its pushback renders it safe, as it is minus 11 on block. In the neutral, this can also be used as a get off me tool due to its armor and pushback, but do note that being a high, it can be ducked and is also very weak to sidestep left. Shaheen's go to homing move is down forward 3, a mid with incredible range and a decently fast startup speed. On hit, it gives ballerina stun for huge frame advantage and also wall splats. While it is safe on block, at minus 9, your turn is effectively over. Be aware of the very large recovery animation, which makes it easy to punish heavily on whiff. 
This move helps to cover the linearity gap in Shaheen's wall game, as most of his best moves at the wall can be stepped fairly easily. As a bonus, it will also instantly screw airborne opponents on hit for a float combo. Forward 4 is a faster, safer, and more damaging homing option. The main caveats with this move, however, are that it is a high, meaning it can be ducked, and it also has shorter range than down forward 3. On hit, it knocks down and grants a guaranteed dash up back 4. Similar to down forward 3, it will also instantly screw airborne opponents. It's also occasionally useful as a keep out move, due to the short recovery animation. Forward 3 is the slowest homing move Shaheen has. This is a low crushing mid that has great range and grants 6 frames of advantage on the hit. It is also the most rewarding option on counter hit, as it gives a full combo. While this is decent, its slow speed makes it a little susceptible to getting floated out of, so its use case is a little situational. Down 3 is a quick, high crushing low with great range that tracks to both sides. While it is neutral on hit and recovers in crouch, you can also transition into sneak at plus 4 on hit. While this low is very useful, it is at best minus 14 on block if you sneak cancel perfectly. If you don't cancel it perfectly, you can potentially get launched on block, depending on your execution. Despite this, down 3 is still Shaheen's best low poke from standing, so make sure to utilize it well. Shaheen's down 4 is slower than down 3, and lacks the high crushing properties. But it is safer at minus 12 on block and gives plus 1 on hit. It is one of the few ways for Shaheen to reliably collect frame advantage in the neutral. It has similar damage and range as down 3, but due to its lack of high crush and slower speed, down 3 is still generally the preferred low. Shaheen's down 3 plus 4 is basically a generic down 4. This is a high crushing low with great tracking that is incredibly fast but does low damage. Thanks to Shaheen's long legs, this has more range than your typical down 4, and is even unpunishable by many characters when blocked at tip range. Just like other down 4s, this is a great low poke to annoy your opponent and close out rounds. Shaheen only has a single command throw in his down 4 1 plus 4, which is a 1 plus 2 break. Despite being his only command throw, this is actually quite decent due to the knockdown position, giving Shaheen some decent okizemi afterwards. These are some of the okizemi options available to you after the throw. If they try to stand up immediately, doing an immediate down back 2 1 will beat this. If they hold back to wake up, doing an immediate down forward 3 will catch them. If they decide to stay on the ground, you can get a dash up back 4 instead. If they decide to side roll, you can do a dash up down 3. These Okizemi options make this a slightly above average 1 plus 2 command throw. Shaheen's only stance comes in the form of Stealth Step, or more commonly known as Sneak. In Sneak, Shaheen gains access to several new moves. There are two ways to enter this stance. You can either tap down forward twice to manually enter Sneak, or hold down forward after certain moves to transition into it, which should be your primary way of accessing Sneak. These are the following moves that can transition into Sneak. 3, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, down back 2, forward 3 plus 4, down 3, forward 2, 4, and his raise drive. Do note that while in sneak, you are completely vulnerable since you cannot block. However, you can cancel out of sneak by holding down back during the animation. This will automatically put you into crouch, giving you access to your while standing moves or a full crouch mix up. This is especially important as it makes the stance far more ambiguous, rather than just limiting Shaheen to his sneak moves. As such, while most sneak moves aren't exactly threatening, the stance being cancelable is what makes it dangerous. You can also go straight into a stand block from a cancelled sneak transition, making some moves safer than if you didn't transition to sneak at all. Let's now get into the sneak moves, of which there are 6. Sneak 1 is a 12 frame high that gives plus 12 on counter hit for a 3 2 3 or 4 2 3, similar to while standing 1. This kind of acts like a pseudo jab to test how willing your opponent is to challenge the stance, since this is the fastest option out of it. Overall, this heavily varies in usefulness depending on your frame advantage or disadvantage when entering sneak. Sneak 2 is a 15 frame mid with an evasive hitbox. This move can be more useful when transitioning to sneak without frame advantage, as it will beat jabs and most fast, high interrupt attempts, though it is not a true high crush. Thankfully, this is safe at minus 9 and even has fairly decent tracking, being able to beat sidesteps to either direction, though do note that it can still be sidewalked. 
Sneak 3 is the only launching option out of Sneak. This is a mid that automatically switches sides on hit for a full combo, and is virtually identical to his forward forward 3. While this is very rewarding, it is unsafe at minus 12, and can be sidewalked even if you enter Sneak at a massive frame advantage. This is most often used in combos, since this is Shaheen's highest damage combo ender, making it an ideal choice if you are not going for the wall. Sneak 4 is a fast, decently tracking low poke. It is very punishable at minus 15, though this is covered somewhat by the threat of the high follow-up, Sneak 4 1, that will instantly screw attempts to punish. Even though Sneak 4 on its own gives a guaranteed follow-up with back 4 on counter hit, the risk reward with this move is considerably not in Shaheen's favour. So this is seldom used outside of combos, where Sneak 4 1 is a primary screw move. Sneak 1 plus 2 is a tackle and the only throw out of Sneak. This isn't super useful as it's pretty easy to break since it cannot be cancelled and he doesn't have any other throws out of Sneak. Just like an ultimate tackle, this is broken with 1 plus 2 or 2. Overall, this is just a fairly gimmicky move that doesn't really have any decent use case. Sneak 3 plus 4 is both the only power low and the only true high crush out of Sneak. Unfortunately, it's very slow and even seeable by sharp players at 26 frames. On block, it's also incredibly unsafe at minus 19, making it launch punishable by the entire roster. The only merits to this move are that it high crushes, knocks down on hit, and gives a mini combo on counter hit for a decent chunk of damage. However, due to its incredibly high risk for its relatively small reward, this move is generally not recommended to be used. The final key moves worth mentioning are Shaheen's Rage Art and Rage Drive. Shaheen's Rage Art has generic properties and is pretty unexceptional. This is an armored mid that is incredibly unsafe on block and does a huge chunk of damage on hit. Shaheen's Rage Drive combos naturally from his down back too, so can be used as both a 14 frame launching block punisher and an excellent whiff punishment tool as well. Unfortunately, since the second hit of the Rage Drive is a non-jailing high without a mid option to mix it up with, there is no reason for the opponent not to duck and launch if it's blocked, meaning it can't be used as a pressure tool. If your opponent is asleep at the wheel and blocks the second hit instead of ducking it, you can transition into sneak at plus 18 for a sneak mix-up, or from there, cancel the stance at plus 8 for a full crouch mix-up instead. It can also be used to screw an additional time in a combo for some crazy wall carry. Overall, this rage drive is best used for punishment only. Shaheen is a very well-rounded and fundamentals-focused character. Thanks to his great generic tools, Shaheen can fit nearly anyone's playstyle, while his low execution barrier and simple combo routes make him very approachable as well. His excellent 50-50 pressure is the main driving force for his offense, while his good all-round punishment and excellent magic 4 also make him well-suited to a defensive playstyle. However, while his 50-50 is strong and rewarding, it can sometimes take a lot of conditioning to utilize as Shaheen lacks good approach tools, plus frame moves, or damaging lows from standing. This can mean that when facing a more defensive turtling opponent, Shaheen can be forced to take risks to open them up, and can struggle to make comebacks. His small move list can also be a hindrance, as he lacks any abusable strings or gimmicks, so players will need to rely on solid fundamentals to succeed with the character. In the neutral, Shaheen relies a lot on simple pokes like down forward 1 or down 3 up close. Effective use of down forward 1 can do wonders to limit an opponent's move list to fast moves, and can also be used to set up with punishment opportunities when combined with Shaheen's above average sidestep. Down 3 is the go-to low poke in the neutral, due to its incredible range and tracking. Make sure to use the transition into sneak to test their patience, which is extremely helpful in order to start setting up your full crouch offense. In the neutral, you should always be paying close attention to your opponent's movement patterns. Since many of Shaheen's key moves can be sidestepped or sidewalked to the left, 
be sure to dissuade them from trying to step him with tracking moves like down forward three. If your opponent's constantly stepping to the left, you can even gamble with a hop kick for potentially huge rewards. If your opponent is being predictable with their approach timings, try to use down forward two to catch them out. Shaheen's defense is also incredibly strong just outside the range of his down forward one, thanks to his great whiff punishment tools like his hop kick or down back two one and his magic four string, which can make opponents very hesitant to push buttons. This is enhanced further when Shaheen gains rage as his rage drive can be used to punish any small mistake very heavily. Once you catch your opponent out with your down forward two, magic four, or make any successful block or with punish, it's time to go in. Make sure to follow up every combo, advantageous sneak transition, or knockdown by going straight for the full crouch pressure. This is your best chance to collect damage, and you shouldn't waste it. This is the backbone of his offense, and what makes him such a formidable character. As previously mentioned in the key move section, when we discuss this slide, Shaheen has many options to enforce or maintain his pressure, and your opponent has to take a big risk to avoid it when using it in an advantageous situation. While standing 4 and while standing 1 are good fast mid options to dissuade your opponent from attempting to interrupt or challenge the mix up. Once they become more patient, you can begin to go in with his slide or other power mids like his hop kick or while standing 2. If you don't want to take such a risk, you can simply block at any given time as well, or just stick to the previously mentioned low risk options. What you choose to do from Shaheen's crouch dash depends very heavily on what you think your opponent's tendencies are, and should be changed accordingly based on how they choose to adapt when facing the mix-up. Naturally, going for a more rewarding option also means it's more risky if the opponent guesses the mix-up correctly, so it is important to weigh your options and risk to reward ratio properly before deciding what to do. Shaheen has an above average wall game due to simply having good wall splatting moves and high damage wall combos. Unlike many characters, when you reach the wall as Shaheen, it's often better to take it down a notch and instead go on the defensive, since you now gain especially large rewards from most of his whiff and block punishment options. Down back 2 1, 4 2 3, and while standing 3 3, all wall splat, and Shaheen can use forward 2 3 to wall splat after a counter hit while standing 1 sneak 1, or 1-2-2. Two, two. For Shaheen's full crouch offense, while standing 3-3 three, three now replaces hop kick as your mid option, since it also fully tracks to sidestep left, but has greater range and will wall splat. Shaheen's full crouch pressure is at its best at the wall when you're at the tip range of while standing 3-3, three, three, as here you can also use it as a fast, hugely damaging whiff punisher while staying out of range of most mid pokes or panic moves which your opponent may want to use to interrupt the pressure. Be especially ready to pull the trigger in this situation. Shaheen is a very basic yet flexible character. His low execution makes him easy to pick up for newcomers to the game, while his great generics and simple game plan make him a popular choice for players with good fundamentals, particularly as a tournament character, where those qualities are especially desirable. Shaheen is a character that will be as good as you are a player, and can let you drop some of the burden of learning your character to instead focus more on learning Tekken. Despite the lack of a decent approach tool, his full crouch mix-up being so ambiguous makes his offense still incredibly dangerous, albeit risky. His above average punishment, great pokes, and decent keep out tools also make him suitable for a defensive playstyle as well. In many ways, Shaheen is one of the best examples of a jack of all trades, being so well rounded in nearly everything that makes a character strong, with a slight emphasis on poking and 50 50s. When paired with a player with good fundamentals, Shaheen is no doubt one of the most formidable characters in Tekken 7.
Hey everyone, thank you all for watching this video guide on Shaheen. For some bonus information that was not included in this video, please check the description for the extra notes listed. There is also a link to a written document of the script used for the video in case you need it. I'd also like to shout out some amazing people who made this video possible. Firstly, a massive shout out to Joey, a great UK Tekken player who wrote the large majority of the script and helped to co-narrate this video with me. I was honestly pretty hands off in terms of writing this time thanks to his amazing work on the script and this video definitely would not have been made as quickly or as efficiently without him. Secondly, a shout out to Wayne who previously had worked with me on the Claudio guide. He also served as a minor co-writer for the script and was also the one that kind of gave me the push to make this guide when I was still contemplating it. So in a way, he was directly responsible for making this video happen. Another shout out to Tech Lee, who created and constantly refined the Tekken Input Generator app to help speed up the combo notation making process, which I first started using for the Claudio guide. Finally, another big thanks to Sean, who has continuously supported the channel with great music like the one playing right now, as well as captioning several of the other character guides just like this one. All of their social media links will be in the description below, so do give them a follow. Please also follow me on Twitter and join the Discord server if you'd like. Thanks once again for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Take care.